Welcome to this video. Redmi Note 10 is powerful, but by default we cannot access its operating system. We can only get into it by exploiting the PPPoE protocol. The protocol has a bug. We can open a port by sending specific data to the bug. To start the buggy PPPoE client on the router, we need a PPPoE server. To accomplish this job, some Linux and Python knowledge is required. Here I'm using my laptop to run PPPoE service as the server. Download the service Python script. First, install the Python service modules for PPPoE. I would need PPPoE to serve on the network adapter EN0 for my laptop, so need to modify the script manually. In the Python script, set EN0 as the interface. The service is started. Wait for the client to connect. On the client side, connect the router's one port with one of the LAN ports. Connect the router to the PPPoE server with the other LAN port. Set the PPPoE server with a static IP address. Open the router's administration web page. Log in PPPoE with a random credential. From server side, we see it's connected now. Here, need to do some preparation. I start a simple web server here to share some necessary files as suggested. Now copy the exploit script down. Again search for the network adapter config, set it to the name given by laptop operating system. Open a new terminal. Use netcat to sniff the router 31337 port. Then run the exploit script. The data has been sent to router. From the netcat terminal, we see the port is open temporarily. The port will close in a short time, so use BusyBox to start a new stable telnet daemon. After the port is closed, use telnet to connect again, then we can log in the router. I do not want to log in the router by this way each time, it's complex, so I'm installing OpenWRT so that in the future I can easily log in the router. There are two images to flash for OpenWRT, kernel 1 and the root FS0. I have prepared the two images earlier, right here in the simple web server root directory. Download the images from my laptop HTTP server. The router's bootloader is also locked by default like some other models. Here I would like to unlock the bootloader. Also set next boot to be triggered from kernel 1. Save the changes into a VRAM. Use mtb command to flash the images into kernel 1 and the root file system 0 partitions. Now we are good to reboot. After a few minutes, the LED will turn blue. Set laptop IP address back to DHCP mode. But cannot get an IP address from the router. Let's try to reboot. Maybe the router is just the now. Unplug all connected cables. 
Power Circle 的 Return。Wait for a few moments for the DHCP service to start up. The OpenWRT image is too new. Maybe it is not very stable. Try other Ethernet ports if this one doesn't work, or just try to reboot again. This time it can be logged in.